Let me tell you just a little bit about what it takes to be eligible to become a Hall of Fame inductee or a Hall of Fame member. The Full Sail graduates must have been out in the field for 10 years or more. While out there, they must have achieved and accomplished noteworthy and significant things in their industry of choice, meaning whether it's film or recording or gaming, they must have gone on to do stellar things in their career lives. And the third and probably most significant part of the criteria for eligibility is that the Full Sail graduate must have given back to those coming behind her or him. In other words, to the generations of Full Sail coming out and entering the field, whether it's coming back to do guest lectures, taking that phone call for somebody hoping and praying for their first job in the industry, regardless of what it is, these people must have given back to others from the heart in some fantastic way. Nothing is more gratifying than, than to be recognized by your peers for something that, that I truly love to do. And I enjoy the chaos, I enjoy the challenge of it all, and, and, and to make sense of it all. I've really, really been lucky at uh, you know, being able to live my dreams out on a daily basis. Uh, if you put your mind to it, you work hard, never give up and follow your dreams, you can do anything you want in life. Don't ever, don't ever give up. You're gonna fail, you're gonna you know, get rejected. Just don't quit, just keep going. Um, that's, that's the greatest advice I could give to any of you. To be standing here today with awesome friends, awesome family, this is a way to prove it works. And anyone who thinks that Hollywood is against you is crazy town bananas. All you have to do is throw a stick and you will hit a mentor. Hopefully nowhere that will make them want to not help you later. We know that there's a lot of great people out there in the world who help us stretch out and advance ourselves and give opportunities and challenges and compassion. And I, we, are eternally grateful to those people. Thank you very, very much. And I'm proud to tell you that all six of our inductees, every one to the person, is a great example to me of how life should be lived and how the respect and appreciation for others, regardless of title or position in life, is tantamount to this world we live in. I love you, Leslie, with all my heart and I'm about to cry. And I'm really happy for you. <laughs> because as kids, we always wanted this. I think the thing that sort of sums up Steve for me is that if you ask Steve to do something, that just means it's done. It fell out of my head and onto his desk, and it's done. And that was very, very lovely to work with. Because to know Troy is to know how humble he is given the size and talent uh, of the gift that he has. Um, Troy is an amazing, amazing person. I secretly believe that Mark has a superpower. On the mix stage, it is my observation that he possesses the innate ability to hear what the director and I are thinking before we utter a word. I just want to say congratulations. I love working with you. I look forward to the next picture with you. And congratulations, Mark. I looked around at the people in my life and I think, who has that drive? Who has that talent? 
and who has that strength of character, that, that integrity that will really take that individual all the way. And Chris is that person. Today is a very special day for Tyke, and he deserves this so much. And I'd just like to say that he's really part of my family, um, has been for many years. And um, uh, I'm so thrilled that people are seeing, you guys out there are seeing um, uh, how important he is to this industry.